This is the video tutorial on a, a tool called Template Tab Plus, and it's used for either rubrics or scoring sheets, um, and it allows you to make a individual scoring sheet for each one of your students digitally using Google Sheets. Um, starting off, you design your template when you get this, um, and I did one on Renaissance, my artists, my students had to do a presentation on one, and I uh, just set it up. And um, I made it out of 100, and this tallies the percent at the end. So I have the sum, and uh, um, simply you just get the sum of the points, and then divide it by 100, or divide it by the total. So it's pretty easy to do. Click here, and if you haven't made those before, um, so you just go to the sum, and that'll throw in there, and then forward slash 100. Uh, and just you just drag uh, how to do this. I'll, I'll show that a little bit later. Um, anyway, but just to give you an overview of how this works is now I have um, I have a roster of my students, their email address, and if I emailed everybody an individual link to their score sheet as you go through. So the student got in an email a link this attachment with the comments. <clears throat> she could not see anybody else's spreadsheet. She just got a link to this tab um, and so forth. And then I have I have records of it as, myself so I can see um, later on what she did well at, what she didn't do well at, if I gave it to her or I, I wouldn't have the individual scores or the comments anymore. So um, to do that, um, when you open up the tab for this, which I'll share later, you simply click um, share spreadsheets. And this, if I click this right now, you would email again to them all their spreadsheet tabs. So <clears throat> that's kind of what it looks like in the finished product. Uh, let me show you really quickly. Here's a, how it first shows up. Um, first of all, where you get it is on um, feedback here. And you can get that visit the Alice Keeler's Template Tab Plus. Um, and what you do is you get this Alice Keeler. Keeler tab has instructions and everything and you download her template and then you make a copy and you'll notice this copy has a place for all the names and a place for all their email addresses and then this is where you design your um, your rubric or your scoring sheet um, but I've already done that here so I have the, the Renaissance one and I need to get my roster one good way to get the roster would be to have students uh, uh, fill out a form. So we'll go Johnny B. Oops. Johnny B. Good. And we'll go put up my address. Um, you just need the name and their email address. And then I have, have them here. Of course, I'd have more per class. And then you would put uh, you would simply paste that. Oops. Let me try that again here. Okay. Simply paste that in here. So I have their names and their email addresses. Obviously, it would be a lot longer. Now, here's the cool part. Here's my template that I made. And now when I click, um, I go to the roster and I click template tab. This is a new tab that only comes with this template. So once you've made all your student lists, I'm, I would recommend making several copies of this. And then you could just use it several times over and over again. Just use change the, um, the rubric or scoring sheet here. So the first step now is I'm going to make a template for each kid. So here I go. Template tab. Run template tab is the first step. Step one, step two, step three. First is to run the template tab. I have to give a permission. Okay. And I'm going to say allow. Now it's running the script, and you'll notice it's making a tab for each kid. So as I go down here, um, just like on the other one, I had 30. Uh, now I have my template my roster here and as kids are um, scoring kids you just give them their scores and you can make comments uh, 
Um, I'll do this for, let's do it for Johnny Be Good too. That's how you didn't go. So I'll just finish this up here. I used to have a place I could type in since they got a 93, the overall score of an A. I'll do that for each kid as they present or as I'm scoring. And I can move from kid to kid, clicking the, the lines here. Let's say I didn't get him or I get Johnny be good. Um, and then I'll just put in, got to put in a name here. All right. And now the cool part. When I'm done, I simply, the next step is I'm going to create the spreadsheets and it's running the script. And for each kid, it takes a little while. That seemed to take longer than usual. For each kid, they have an individual link to their um, spreadsheet. That'll go to no one else's but theirs. So if I link to that, that's just their spreadsheet. They don't get to see anybody else's. And now the next really cool thing about this is the next step, I've created the spreadsheets. So if I wanted to, I could simply copy that, paste it in Google Classroom if they did the work in Google Classroom. But um, when they're all done, um, I can say uh, share spreadsheets. And it gives a little, you have to write a little message for each one. So what I do is I typically write something a little more creative than that. And then I just have, it takes a, a bit of time, but I just control paste every time I ask for the personalized message. I don't know how to get rid of that part. So it's finished. And now if I go to my email, you'll see that um, the email comes from me. Um, and when they click on it, they get their personalized, their own score sheet and nobody else's. So if I had a kid go later uh, or do this late, I can actually, um, let's say he goes late, I can actually score his again, rerun, create, I have to recreate this, recreate the spreadsheets and then sh I can share them again. Um, but or if it's just, you know, one kid, I could copy and paste. You can copy and paste the, um, you can copy and paste the links then. And a good way to get it to them, what I've done before, is when they've done work in Google Classroom, is I've pasted it in Google Classroom. And that's basically uh, Template Plus, a tool I love in a nutshell. Hope this, you've, hope you've found this helpful.